This week, Sidu invited myself and Bear out to Lake Powell. And if there's one thing that I've learned over the years, you never, ever miss a trip to Lake Powell. I've been coming out to this lake since I was about 14 years old. And when I'm asked where my favorite place to ride is, this is it. It's a 185 mile lake flowing through the middle of the Grand Canyon. You're usually on a houseboat, allowing you to go out and just get lost. Visually, this is the craziest lake you will ever see. On this trip, we had Roy Kramer. You may know Roy from a show on MTV, Dare to Live. He's a world traveler, a renowned filmmaker, and on top of that, he loves the lake life more than anyone. So I knew Roy and his crew were gonna be fun to have on this trip. Now, one of the best parts about this trip was having Lake Powell Bob with us. Bob was our tour guide slash chef. He put us on the sickest spots all in about two days. I've been coming out to this lake for 20 years trying to find these spots. So if you ever need a tour guide for Lake Powell, Bob's your dude. Give you a little rundown right now. I'm out here in Lake Powell, Bear, the sea dew trip. We're locating the spray edit of Lake Powell where, where uh, Byerly and Schmaltzy and all the boys. Um, it could be that right there. Where all the boys hit the spot way. back in the day. That's probably it right there. We got Lake Powell Bob, knows the location, showing it where it is on the map. We already looked it up where it was in 1994, wow. 60 see, feet higher than where it is see today. How, see this right here? See those two? I'll bet you that's it right there. Bet your money. It looks like it could, that could be. We'll see here there's a little bridge between the two of them. Find it. We're finding it. We're at location where we think spray, infamous Lake Powell Rock Gap happened. What's it look like? Really? Damn. So Bear just hiked up, took some pictures. I had these boots on and I'm not the best hiker so I couldn't get up this slippery little thing but trust Bear's photos Bear thinks he found it and for Miss Rock Gap this is where it all went down they said the water is 60 feet higher here in 94 or 95 when they filmed this so it's probably going to look a lot different but if you look this way this is actually the background you see in that shot one of my favorite parts about this trip was the full moon we had each night. The way the shadows went across the rocks were insane, and Bear's photos are even more ridiculous. One night we went over to our friend Chris's boat. He had a pizza oven on top. We got to hand make pizzas. Sorry, Mossy, but these are the best pizzas I've had in a long time. Some nights we were playing campfire jams. Other nights we were letting loose karaoke on the boat. I'm always pumped when these trips start, and even more sad when these trips end. But unfortunately, they all do. That's a wrap for the Powell trip. We're all packed up, off the houseboats, getting ready to head to Vegas, fly out tomorrow. Epic Powell trip, never lets me down. My favorite lake of all time, hands down. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Sidu, everyone who helped out. And uh, maybe next time we get out here, uh, we'll get in the Scott Byerly pool, raise this water up, hit that shit again. Parks Network, let's go. Gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs>